Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and welcome to another how to install video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to install the latest version of Darth Mod for Empire Total War. Now, there hasn't been an updated version of Darth Mod for Empire Total War in quite some time, and many of you may already have this mod installed. But nevertheless, I have covered the installation process for Darth Mod for Napoleon Total War, so it is only fair that I do the same for Empire. Now, before we begin, if you have any older versions of the mod installed, please remove them before installing the most current version to avoid any conflicts. Alright, so first thing we need to do is go to moddb.com, and then in the top in the search bar we're going to start typing in Darth Mod, and it should come up as the first one. This one I've already covered in a separate video for Napoleon Total War, but this is Darth Mod for Empire, so we're going to click on this one here, and we're going to go to the Files tab, and we've got uh, three packs that we have to download here. So we're going to open Part 1, Part 2, and the Patch. And uh, in the first one, we're going to click Download Now. And it's going to bring up this window here, which is fine. We just have to wait until it uh, pops up in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen saying it is downloading, which it is. And then we can close it. Same for the second one. Click Download Now. And the first pack file is an .exe file, so you'll have this type of logo here. And the second pack file is a zip file, so if you have like a little blank piece of paper here instead of the three books stacked on top of each other, you're going to need to download some extraction software. The three that I recommend are WinRare, WinZip, and 7-Zip, and they're all free to use and pretty easy uh, to use as well. So make sure that you download that. You could do it even while this is all downloading and you are waiting for it to finish. And obviously we're going to download the patch as well, which is an .exe file as well. And there we go. So now we can close this, but make sure to leave the original Darth mod open, because if you close this, it will actually cancel all of your downloads. Uh, and then once all of these are finished, we will come back and start with the installation process. All right, and once all three files are done, you can go ahead and close ModDB. And then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make a folder on our desktop. And we can just call it really anything you want. I'm just going to call it Empire Total War for now. And we're going to have to put all of the install, uh, or sorry, all of the downloaded content into that folder. Uh, so we're going to open our file explorer, go to our downloads, and we're going to move both of these into the Empire Total War folder. Then we're going to double click to open this and we're going to say extract to and then go to desktop and into the Empire Total War folder and it's going to extract these files into that folder. The reason we need them all together in one folder is because once we run the exe file it's going to access the bin files basically that we have selected inside this folder to install the mod. So if they're in different locations or they're not unpacked properly, then the installation will not work. And there we go. So now we can close this out here. And when we double click to open that, we've got our uh, pack file in here that we need. So the first thing we're going to do is run the platinum.exe. Don't run the patch, run the platinum. So double click on version 8.0. And it should bring up the installation here, or the installation uh, setup wizard. So welcome to Darth Mods. We're going to hit next here. We're going to hit agree and next. And then we're going, to, this is the part where we have to point it to our Empire Total War folder. So I'll put an annotation at the bottom of the screen. For most of you guys, it's going to be in your C drive. If you have a Steam version, it's going to be Steam. Uh, I could actually show it to you here. So if we look at uh, PC, local C, program files 86, down to Steam, Steam apps, common, and then uh, you'll have your Empire Total War somewhere in here. Uh, for disk users, it'll be C, uh, program files 86, uh, Sega, and Empire Total War. For me, I've got it on my G drive, so I've got to go over to my G drive instead, but the pathway is relatively the same. Steam games, Steam apps common, 
and then down to Empire Total War. Now it's important to not have this folder open like this. Make sure to close it once again, because sometimes if you do put it inside the Empire Total War folder it, and it's open like this, it'll actually install it in an incorrect folder. So make sure that it's closed. And then when you hit OK, make sure that it says Empire Total War only one time. Uh, sometimes you'll, you'll get it where it looks like this. Uh, sorry, how do I do a backslash on my computer? I don't even know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, well, it'll it'll look uh, something like uh, Empire Total War. So it'll have it double. Obviously, it would be a, with a backsplash, but it needs to just have the one Empire Total War so it doesn't duplicate the folder. So double check, make sure that's correct. And then once it's done, hit next. And then you can have it to install shortcuts. So I have it checked to have a shortcut selected. Hit next and next. And now it's going to start installing it right into your Empire Total War folder. So this does take a little bit of time. So I'll make a quick cut here and we'll bring it back to you once this setup is almost complete. All right, and there we go. So we're gonna hit finish on the setup wizard. And we're not quite done yet. We're going to have to do a couple more things, including installing the patch. So double click on the shortcut that you guys have made. And in settings, turn that off. Yeah, so this there is a launcher audio, but it is quite loud. So that's why I quickly shut it off. So go over to settings and then hit enable restore mode. And then go ahead and close the launcher and make sure to click vanilla ready. This will revert the game from Empire Darth Mod to Vanilla Empire. And we need that to happen because when we install the patch, we want to make sure that the patch overwrites uh, the Empire files and not our... Uh, sorry, uh, it overwrites the Darth Mod files and not our Empire files. So double-click on the patch now. And then we're literally going to go through the same setup. So we're going to hit Next. I agree. We're going to navigate to our same folder that we were in before. So for most of you, it'll be your C drive. For me, it's my G drive. Empire Total War. Again, make sure that it's only the one there and that it hasn't duplicated the folder. Hit next, next, next. And this will be very quick. And there we go. We can finish that. And now Darth Maul Napoleon is ready to go. Uh, if you want, you can actually uh, delete the uh, Empire Total War folder as well. You won't need that anymore. And now we're ready to launch the mod. So double click again on the shortcut. And settings. Launcher audio off. And we can choose our campaigns. So we could go for the Darth Mod Empire Ultimate Early or the Ultimate Late. I'm going to choose the Ultimate Late because it has the option for the US to be independent. And we're going to jump in as them and try and uh, force a battle and do a couple end turns to prove to you that it does work. So you could click that. Now, there's a couple other settings that you could do as well, like turns per year you can change, uh, the gameplay with the artillery you can change, all of this, uh, extra research rate, slowing it down. Uh, larger deployment zones, so make sure to set all of that uh, beforehand and then all you have to do is click start and it's going to load all of the files here but it's not actually going to launch the mod it's going to just get it set up and then you're still going to have to launch the mod through Steam so there we go, it's ready to be launched manually don't close the launcher so just minimize it out of the way and then in Steam here if I pull this across for you guys in uh, our library if we go to Empire Total War and click play, it should launch us into the game. And there we go. Uh, let me just turn off the sound very quickly here. Because I don't know if that is copyright or not. Single player. We could go to the Grand Campaign. And you can see that the U.S. is independent, so we'll play as them. Yeah, so if you have the early start enabled and you don't see the U.S., it's because in the early start of the campaign, uh, that date, the U.S. were still a colony of Great Britain. So if you want to play as an independent United States, you will have to uh, play as the late campaign. But here we go. So uh, we're going to see if we can attack the British. Where's the closest? 
one that we can attack. Probably up over here. So let's just get a bunch of troops together. And if you guys have yours working right now, then feel free to uh, just head out. You don't have to watch any of this. I just always do this on my campaigns to prove to you guys that it does indeed work. So I'm going to gather everybody together that we have. And uh, we could build a couple of things as well, just for fun. And... Uh, and the turn. There we go. Excellent. Agent recruited. That's fine. Okay. Can we reach this in one turn? No. Uh, what could actually... Oh, maybe we could reach it except for this artillery piece. Yes, there we go. And let's just jump in. Just to show you that there aren't any battle crashes and that we can get into a battle on the campaign. Now, keep in mind that this is quite an old mod. I think this, is, this most recent version came out in 2013. And uh, in watching other YouTubers' Let's Plays, uh, you will know that Darth Maul does have a habit of crashing sometimes during uh, prolonged campaigns. So I do recommend that every two or three turns that you make a separate save file. And that way, if you do experience a crash, you won't have to completely abandon your campaign. You'll just be able to start uh, over uh, at you know maybe the last three turns or something like that instead of having to go way, way far back. But there we go. You can see that everything is working, and we have our troops on the battlefield. And uh, hopefully this uh, install tutorial helped you guys out. As I said, most of you guys probably do have uh, Empire uh, Total War Darth Mod, but because I did cover Napoleon Total War Darth Mod, I wanted to add this to my repertoire as well. I do have the hopes of covering you know, almost every mod for any Total War game in my mod tutorial but that is it for today guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed be sure to like comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future and as always i will see you in the next one